Hello, welcome to Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. Let's talk. You've got myself, Apps, and Piper from the Dimp Digital team, and we're here to discuss Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. So let's uh, let's not dance around, Mr. Piper. I gave this a Binit rating, uh, which put it in the same company of Assassin's Creed, Unity, and The Order, 1886. What do you make of that? Um... <laughs> Right. You enjoyed uh, this. There's a disclaimer out there. I'm going to put spoilers. So oh, sure, if you're yeah. Listening, if anyone's listening and doesn't want to hear any spoilers, like log off now. This is your opportunity and go and watch yeah. Apps' review of it. Well, don't. However, if, oh, yeah, I will. I will slate it. So just be prepared <laughs> to hear that. I I I agree with you to, to some extent, but I don't agree that it deserves a bin it. I really uh... don't. Like, I absolutely loved that game until the final five minutes i i really got into it and and really enjoyed it Mm. until the final five minutes of the game and then i just felt completely let down (laughs) like i was playing it like i was texting you or messaging you saying right i've done this chapter i've done this person i've done this person i was doing it like i was literally every night i was going through doing at least one one person person a night wasn't it yeah Yeah. like chapters almost weren't they yeah and i was going through doing it and i absolutely loved it and you start off with all these different people you got the you start off with the vicar and then yeah. you go into the old woman and then you go into frank the farmer yeah. and then uh his daughter the daughter yeah. and then, then, then the the son who's a scientist and That's then it. finally the, the american woman yeah. i can't remember any of their names sorry no. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been a while like i just for me i i enjoyed the build-up in terms of like i could once I started getting halfway through, I could see what was going on, and I could see that they're all going to get bombed. When I, when yeah, you that... listen to see Frank, and then you're standing on the top of that windmill, and you can see all the bombs going off in the distance, and yeah. you, it, it's, it's 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 implying that bombs are going off in the distance. Should I say you don't see the bombs? No, it's, it's a trail of light. Um, everything's done by a trail of light. Um, yeah. And that I was just sitting, I was like, wow. And there was one point where I was going around in the story, and I went into one of the houses, and the woman was bleeding and the children hadn't come back downstairs and they were dead and you could tell that they were dead and the husband was like right let's go upstairs and right. he was like fuck the kids there have died yeah. and this it's um it i like the way that implied and i'm glad i didn't see the characters because sometimes with games looking at people mm. They just don't feel like humans. They don't look realistic enough, do no. they, sometimes? So Some... this left it to your imagination where you could build your own picture. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like if you was reading, oh, if you was listening to an audio book yeah, or something yeah. along those lines. So I had that opportunity to build the, those characters up in my head, what they looked like. And I can imagine they were completely different from what you probably thought they looked like. Um, yeah. And and for me, that's what I loved about the game. Um, yeah, I absolutely loved the fact that I just had that, that idea and... Of, of just building up these characters in my head and just slowly unfolding unfolding the story yeah so i mean i guess like i said in my review my problem was that i felt the story because it was it was so story heavy i mean you could only walk and interact with doors and whatnot and certain objects so it was so story heavy they had to get it right i think if you take a step back and look at a to z a what happened in this town and what ha- went on i think it was decent but i I had a real problem with the way it was presented to me and the way it was told and structured. I didn't, I didn't like feeling like I was getting punished for wandering around, like I was wasn't following the light and I was missing the key story points. Like with the the vicar's story, the very first one, for example, I thought I had done it, so I started wandering off to the next zone, set off the next trail, and then when I spoke to him and I've done the vicar, and he was like, "Oh, no, you saw him get sucked away then?" And I was like, "Oh no, I didn't see that." And I had to go back to the the, the location to a location I'd already visited. And it hadn't triggered it because I hadn't been to the light beforehand and uh, watched that particular bit. So I wasn't happy having to revisit areas where I've been been previously. I would have preferred if you'd picked up clues from the certain key areas that you had to go to. And at the end, it told you through flashbacks through the light or something like that where I didn't have to rely on hitting things in a certain order. Yeah, I, I, I completely agree with that. I think that they shouldn't have li- allowed people to have two routes out one where no, it was yeah. just straight into the next part of the story and it wasn't very climactic whereas there was one the part where you'd go through and then you'd have all these lights flying around everywhere yeah. and it just felt like wow this is the end of that person's story or i feel like i'm now going into the next part yeah and when i got and i must admit i was very very lucky when i first got that one yeah um and i was like wow and then i, I that happened to me later on and i knew that 
I'd miss something and I had to keep going back. Yeah. Um, and that, that it did it did wind me up because I was like, I don't want to miss anything. I want to know about everything that happens in yeah, the story. I don't want to feel like I've missed a part in such a, a small game. Yeah. Um, however, I would have been interested to know if you'd got to the end, would they allow you to complete it without doing all the sort of special sort of work all endings? Yeah. Because that would have been yeah. interesting. Can have have people experienced the game without any of those endings, light yeah. climatic endings? Yeah, I'm not sure actually. Um, I think and I'll have to be corrected on this and have a look. I think there is a trophy for doing that. So I think you can. I think in theory oh, you, okay. can, you can do it without completing uh, the sub story, if you will. Um, Going back on to the, the maybe another reason why I had an issue with it, what you have to remember for me is that I've played The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, Gone Home, and The Stanley Parable, which all fall into that, I don't know, people labelling these walking simulators, for better or worse, that's, yeah, we'll call them that exactly. for the sake of it. And so for me, it was up against really, really stiff competition because I thought those three games were fantastic. And when it didn't hit the same sort of highs and the same sort of consistency as those three, it kind of it kind of hurt it more than probably perhaps what it should have done. Yeah, no, no, and I I completely get that. But there, I also if you look at Ethan Carter, it, you can go the whole way through that game, and then suddenly you get to the end and you think, well, like shit, I have to go all the way back to near pretty much the beginning of the whole yeah game to unlock something to allow you to finish it. But you can um, fast travel. You can fast travel, which you can't do on on um, um, the Rapture. So um, I must admit that was one of my most frustrating parts in terms of the walking simulator. It was incredibly slow to walk. So there was points where I just wanted to run. Yeah. And that was frustrating at times. But in all in all, if you do the story right, like by all the correct moves, yeah. I to me it's not worth a bin it. And uh, like, uh, to me it's, it's, it's a bronze game. I don't think it's worth... 15 quid whatever it is in the store or 12.99 right. I think it's a 6.99 game mm. um, visually amazing once again oh the and, setting was, was perfect wasn't it it felt like a proper English rural town from yeah, the village no, exactly. like, that and, was amazing how they got that so right it, all the little nuances you you see as being living in this country and going to these places were instantly recognisable even the pubs it was just yeah like... we both grew up in a village and I can yeah. we can both say that that sort of hit home lots of the stuff around there you, you could even to the industrial estate and I was thinking yeah they, you do get industrial estates around small villages as well yeah. and stuff like that it was, it was just it just that visually and and the sound again, like I really enjoyed the music to it. Had a great um, soundtrack, yeah. Yeah, and I, I had, I've even got the theme to it on my PlayStation that I enjoyed <laughs> it that much. But yeah, there, there are elements that let that game down from being, in my opinion, being a silver slash gold to being a bronze game, which it is. And um, I wouldn't go far as saying it's a bin it because to me it wasn't broken. No. Uh, and and and. In it was my... the order. It just wasn't very enjoyable. That's all it comes See, down I've to. See, I've not me. played that, so I can't yeah. really compare. No, I mean, so, it wasn't. Um... No, the game runs fine. There's no, there's no kind of bugs or stuff in it. I just, I didn't like the way that it, it presented and wanted me to progress. Like hitting all the points seemed really difficult for me to figure out where I was going and what I was supposed to do. And um, I felt like I was getting punished for exploring slightly, which. I don't know. Maybe that's just the way that I, I played it and, and wasn't playing it correctly. But it's good. That's why we have these conversations. Yeah, no, 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 and I do feel practice. like you, you was, and I, I can't understand why the bits where you could walk through and just complete the game without doing the, 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 the fancy stuff. Yeah. Why they, they just didn't have a gate that was closed that you couldn't go through, and then so it opens knew. up yeah. because you could go back via alleyways to different parts and sort of like far, as you like sort of fast walk because gates then suddenly became open. So sure. I I was in parts like about four three stages down and I'd cut down the back of an alleyway and suddenly I was back in the first stage and I was yeah. like, oh but that wasn't there for me to go down when I was in that first stage because the gate was closed. So yeah. I don't understand why they couldn't have sort of taken that mentality yeah. for the whole game and then just sort of directed you through to the parts where people were going to enjoy it. Because those to me, those those were the parts that I remember vividly. As mm -hmm. I said, the the one where the the vicar, when I saw the vicar get sucked away for the first time, yeah. that to me I was like, whoa! I wasn't expecting that, and like nah. it just felt visually amazing. I think by the time that you got to that point, you was already probably pissed off I was, because you had to go it, back, yeah. so it, it probably didn't have the same sort of <laughs> no. resolution. And I knew he was going to get sucked away. <laughs> yeah, because I sort of spoiled it, for <laughs> you, unfortunately, but I didn't realise obviously nah. at the time. No, nah. um, let's um let's end it on a positive note then. Yeah. Go on. 
Give us your okay. final verdict, recommendation. I would say if it comes down in the sale, which PlayStation often do sales for these type of things, and it's it's less than six quid, I'd say pick it up. You'll enjoy it. Just, yeah. Just just take it, obviously, for pinch and salt. Just do your exploring and, and just try and get the most out of the game because it is very enjoyable if you play it in the right way. Um, however, just don't don't expect the, all the bells and whistles because you just won't get it. No. Fair enough. Let's close this one down then let people get on with their lives. Thanks for joining me again, Mr. Piper. No Pleasure worries. as always. The rest of you guys, if you enjoyed this, make sure you hit the like button and be sure to drop us a subscription so you can keep up to date with all things Dimp Digital. Nothing more for us to say apart from thanks for your time and ta-da.